The main concerns are, is it really clinically not relevant if there was a difference? So that's why we have the clinical trials and all the societies demand that the most sensitive population needs to be done where the end point seems to be really robust and the effect of the drug is so pronounced that if there was a difference, we would see it. That's why, for instance, in uh, early breast cancer, pathological complete remission is a very robust endpoint because normally you have just one lesion to be measured. It's very difficult to make a mistake here. So that's why it is taken. Second, uh, what do the clinicians say? Well, uh, is there a sufficient pharmacovigilance? Yeah, because if there was a difference that we didn't notice in the clinical trials, we will see it later. Yes, of course, in the package that is submitted to EMA or FDA, pharmacovigilance is, of course, included. It's the normal package. In addition to that, uh, the um, um, societies like, like uh, ESMO, also the DGHO, of which I was the president, uh, request that best idea would be large registries, independent registries that follow the patients with a sufficient follow-up time. And uh, as I know in my country, in Germany, this has already been established for certain entities. The third thing is, will there be interchangeability? Yeah, can it be wildly replaced from one thing to the other and then the, to the other and maybe back? It probably can be done, but there should be measurements how we can reduce this. Um, in our institution, and I'm coming from Berlin, from the Charité University Hospital, we um, support the idea of keeping a patient on one drug. So patients who were put on uh, the originated product should be kept on the original product, uh, product until the end of their treatment. New patients can be put on a biosimilar, and it should be, again, be the same biosimilar uh, throughout the the course of treatment for this individual patients. Although I must say probably this will not be the routine. It will, it's very probable that uh, pharmacists buy different drugs based on her, their price, which makes sense. And uh, that's why we need the pharmacovigilance. There are very few data on switching, but so far the data that we have show that there shouldn't be a problem.